Hi, I'm MM Outfitters, and today I'm going to walk through how to download SIM and house tray files on a Mac. So to start, I'm going to download this SIM by Renlish Sims. I'm on their Tumblr page, so I'm just going to scroll down to the download link and download this household. So in order for your SIM to show up how it does in the preview page, you'll need to download this CC as well. However, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and download the SIM. Now that the SIM has downloaded, let's open up Finder and navigate to the place where I downloaded. For me, that's the downloads. And you can see here that it's downloaded as zip. We can't have zip files in the tray folder, so we're going to need to decompress the zip file, basically open it up. Most newer computers come with a zip extractor already built in. This means that for zip files, you do not need to download any additional programs. You can double click on the file and it will open up. For ROAR or 7-zip extensions, you'll need to use an extractor tool. These file extensions are less common, however they are used occasionally. For those files, you can download the Unarchiver, which is free in the App Store. Since this is a zip, I'm just going to go ahead and double click on the file and it will open. Okay, great. So now we can see that the file is open and let's see what's inside. You can see here that these file extensions are very different from what we've seen with mods and CC. And if you do see these extensions, this typically indicates that these belong in the tray folder. So now we've opened up the zip file. Let's go ahead and add these to our tray folder. To make it a bit easier for myself, I'm going to open a new tab in Finder by pressing Command and T. You can see now that we have two tabs, one for my downloads and one that opened on the desktop. Now on the sidebar, you should see a shortcut to the documents. If you don't see this, you can go to Finder on the top left hand corner, click on it, and then go to Preferences. And just make sure that this Documents tab is ticked off. Now we found our Documents folder. Let's open it up. Let's open up Electronic Arts. Sims 4, and then let's go down to the tray folder. So as you can see, the tray folder is empty, so let's go ahead and add our new downloaded household. So I'm just going to navigate back to where I downloaded my household, and I'm going to drag all of these and just drop them into the tray. One thing to note is that for the tray folder, you can't have any other folders within here, otherwise Sims won't load correctly. So make sure that you're just dragging the files themselves into here. The process for houses is pretty much the same, so I'm going to go ahead and show you that now as well. So now I'm going to download this house. So let's scroll down to the download link and go ahead and download that. Now that it's downloaded, let's navigate back to our downloads. And here is the house we just downloaded. As you notice, it came zipped again, so let's go ahead and just double click on that and open that up. So now we can see these are the files for the tray folder. So let's go ahead and navigate back to our documents, electronic arts, Sims 4, and then tray. And I'm just going to come back to my downloads folder and drag and drop those files in there. So now that we have all the necessary files in our tray folder, let's go ahead and open up our game. Before we can play, we need to tell our game that we want to use mods. So let's go into the options, into the game options, and then this tab called other. Once in here, you should see two options. One, enable custom content and mods, and the other, script mods allowed. For sims, houses, and lots, you only need to enable custom content and mods for them to show up. However, it is best practice to just enable both, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, in order for these changes to take effect, we need to restart the game, so let's go ahead and do that now. Now that we've restarted our game, we should see our new household in our library. So let's go ahead and navigate to the gallery. 
go up here and select my library. So this is the house that we downloaded. You'll notice that this house appears here because it doesn't include any CC. The household that we downloaded does include CC, so we'll need to click off this include custom content button for the sim to show up. And here's the sim that we downloaded. You can see it's successfully loading in my library. Since I didn't download any of the CC, the sim won't look like this in my game, but it's just for you to see that the sim was successfully downloaded. Hope that helps and happy simming!